Welcome to this episode of Fish Girls. We're gonna show you how we make our Kung Pao Kumu and... Some new wontons, bro. Hope you stick around, stay tuned. Cheeky, yeah. for this episode of Fishing Welcome back here, everybody. So before we get started on our Kung Pao Kumu and our wonton mu, we're gonna make a simple fried rice. We got char siu, we got cookie sausage, some simple vegetables, some seasoning. It's gonna complement our dish as well. Stick around. This looks delicious. Put it in the pan, put it on the sides, get started on the wontons. Alright, let's taste test some of that fried char siu rice. Cheerio! Mm -hmm. That's a good start. Yeah, no. It's a nice start. Hey, see some of that for the main oh, dish, man. I've seen it. All right, we're back here. We're going to make some wontons. Bryson, what do you have for us? So right now, I'm about to make wonton for the boys. The main ingredient with this lovely moo that uh, Chef is, uh, provides for us. Thanks, Chef. So right now, we're going to spread it out with uh, some pork, some crab, imitation crab. Sorry, I, I'm not that rich, so I kind of bring king crab legs to, to the table. Yeah. <laughs> but we got some garlic, ginger, mayonnaise, some cornstarch, shoyu, and uh, sesame oil. So let's get this started. Yeah. Yeah.
Is it if we got an X? Oh. oh. That's one. Two. <laughs> Water chestnuts. Gives you that nice crunch. Everybody has their own style of uh, wrapping. For me, I like simple, easy, not too crazy. So, got a wrapper, a knife. Something similar like that. Big wash on the on the sides. Squish it. This is what I do. Something different. Make sure it's all squeeze. I just like it because it, when, you, when you pop it in, it looks like a little drop, a teardrop. Nothing similar to that, nothing too fancy. So is it, it looks more like a dumpling. It does kind of look like a dumpling, but yeah. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's a one-ton cool. dumpling. One-ton dumpling. I just, I just take some out. If it's too much, I take some out. And that's my boat. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be the best looking thing, but I'll eat it. <laughs> Alright, we got some wontons on deck. Let's get it in the oil. Crazy shit on some dumpling looking ones, some spaceship looking ones. <laughs> so we're gonna go all main ball. One minute each side, next batch. Alright, for our sauce, we got some <laughs> and some mayonnaise. <laughs> I haven't had a one time that good in a while. All right, so the one time's again to finish up. We're gonna get started on our kung pao kumo. These are some of the ingredients. We got dry chilies, we got sesame seeds, we have peanuts, garlic, vinegar, sesame seed oil, shoyu, peppers, onions, green onions, ginger, and our kumo. We're gonna add some towels to the dish. It's my first time making it, so let's have some fun. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Fish and Grills. On this episode, we'll be cooking up the White Saddle Goatfish, or also known as Kumu. It's one of the highest prized reef fish in Hawaii. It's part of the goatfish family and they mainly feed on shrimp and crabs and are known to grow up to 25 inches. And for the Hawaii State record, it came in at 6 pounds 14 ounces, caught on Oahu in 1998. Back in the old Hawaiian days, this fish was used as an offering to the gods and was only served to the priest and staff upon request. And back in the day, if you wanted to learn from a kumu hula or a teacher that teaches hula, you would offer them a kumu. And when you completed your training, you would also get rewarded with a kumu. 
This fish is so delicious, it's rarely put on the market, for that's the fisherman's prize. The meat is super soft, sweet, and flaky. It's best prepared fried crispy, steamed, or in this case, we're gonna make a Kung Pao style kumu. Crab, move one time. All right, for our fish, it's simple seasoning, garlic, salt, pepper. We're gonna coat it with a light layer of cornstarch so it has a nice crisp. So it holds that nice crunch when we add the sauce to it. Fish is all fried up, let's get started on the sauce first. We're gonna put a little bit of oil. We're gonna start up our garlic. Ginger. And we're gonna start reddening down our red chilies. Next, we're gonna add in our vegetables. with our peanuts. And our roasted sesame seeds. Sesame seed oil. Okay, we got some shoyu. I don't know any of these, these amounts, just kind of going by feel. Some rice vinegar. Top it up a little bit sugar. A little bit furukake. Non-authentic, but just going off the ingredients I saw online. It's kind of giving it a shot. Just putting in my own touches here and there. Okay, this is cornstarch water. This is what makes the soup a little bit more thick. So I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit. Slowly add this in. You have it, F&G style Kung Pao Kumu. <laughs> Where's the forks? All right, let's grind. Let's take the crispiest one of them all. <laughs> How's this? Imitation crab, moo wonton. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Not bad. Super creamy that sauce. I like the kick. Oh, the kick. It's a nice kick to it. I like it. I like it. It's a nice kick. Move bite. Mm. I have to 
Bowl. Kung Pao sauce. That's pretty much better than Panda Express. Dang. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, that's soft. Thanks again for joining us today. We had a blast. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And always, stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills! Ah. Yum, yum. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back, everybody. So, before we get started on our Kumu. Okay. Set, go. Welcome back, everybody. So, before we get started on our Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu, Kung we're back here. We're gonna make some wontons. Bryson, what do you have for us? So right now we have some. What I'm gonna make is uh some. Uh, <laughs> for the main ingredient. For the main ingredient. We got the root, and then so break it down. We're gonna, we're gonna make. So I can use blade. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, so what is it? What is? It? What is it? <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is your part. You're supposed to be doing this okay, part. Okay, I'll just say it while I'm videotaping. Yeah, okay, okay, go. Go. Let's just start going. Oh. Oh, no.